What's up, everybody? It's me, Brian Parfmore. The man, the doctor. And UFO fucking Rick. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So how's everybody doing today? It's a new episode of Let's Talk. So guess what, Rick? Today we're talking about alien abduction. My favorite subject. Which UFO Rick's been wanting me to do this one, so we're doing it. Rick don't have no choice now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> locked in. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about Barney and Betty Hill. I remember. Pretty interesting one. Mm -hmm. Barney and Betty Hill were an American couple who claimed they were abducted by extra extraterrestrials. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> extra Texas. <laughs> uh, aliens in a rural portion of the state of New Hampshire. All right. From September 19th to the 20th, 1961. It's actually called, they actually called it the Hill abduction or whatever. That's what a lot of people call it. That's oh, okay. 10.30 p.m. September 19th, 1961. UFO sightings. The Hills were driving back to Portsmouth from a vacation in Niagara Falls, south of Lancaster, New Hampshire. Betty claimed to have observed, observed a bright point of light in the sky, was looking at a falling star. Mm -hmm. Only it moved upward, Betty argued, for Barney to stop the car. Yeah. Star, falling stars don't go upward, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> falling stars go down. <laughs> yeah. Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Barney stopped at a picnic area just south of the Twin Mountains. Betty looked through her binoculars, observed an odd-shaped craft flashing multicolored lights traveling across the face of the moon. Hmm. Because her sister had several years earlier said she had seen a flying saucer, anyways, the airship was quickly descending towards Barney. This object was not a plane, the hills said. They continued driving on the isolated road, Moving very slowly, the object passed above a restaurant in a signal tower on top of Cannon Mountain. Saying that to you. All right. Um, Betty said it was 40 feet, 12 meters long, be rotating. The couple watched as the silent craft moved and bounced back and forth in the night sky, ramply descending to their vehicle. Oh, that might you shit yourself. Uh, yeah. Causing Barney to stop in the middle of a in the middle of the highway. Yep. The ship remained Barney of a huge reminded Barney of a huge pancake. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. He was carrying a pistol in his pocket. He moved closer. Eight to eleven humanoid figures who were peering out of the windows seeming to be looking at him. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll hand that to you. My cheat sheets. <laughs> okay. Next thing, he was in a hallway in front of the craft. There was one figure communicating with him, saying, Stay where you are. Sounds like the police. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Gestapo, yeah. Um, keep looking. They were wearing glossy black uniforms and black caps. Hmm. See, that makes me think of, like, other, like, TV shows. Yeah, yeah. 
A long structure descended from the craft approached him. Barney reported to the National Era Errol phenomenal. They were not humans. Mm -hmm. Well, there's more stuff about Betty and stuff because a lot of they lost a lot of time and stuff and like when they got home, their outfits were messed up. And they didn't even notice. But let's go ahead and talk about Barney and Betty Hill. You ready for this one, Rick? I am definitely ready. I know Rick probably got the perfect answers for these two. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Their watches would never work again. What do you think caused this? Oh wow, that's a good one, ain't it? Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm pretty well familiar with this. You know what we're doing here, this story, and yeah, um, I don't recall that, but. In other, in other um, abduction stories, I've heard that uh, before. How about how about you? Have you ever? Heard yeah, that? I've heard of like lost okay. time and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to say with you know how they say the ship was spinning. Mm-hmm. Maybe some of the magnetic field. Yeah. Because yeah. they said a lot of magnets will like mess up clocks and stuff like that. Oh yeah, definitely something was mag magnetic. But the thing is, is you said they said that they, you know, even after they you know got away or whatever or you know it was all over. Yeah. They never worked again, correct? You did yeah. say that. Okay. Yeah, that's See that's. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, that's kind of cool in a way, but. You know. It kind of makes you wonder, you know, well, why wouldn't they work again, you know? It's, yeah. It's something to think about, look into, yeah. Well, I'm saying not even 100% sure because those are old, that's in the 60s. Well, yeah. And stuff with the magnetic or whatever, if it mess up the watch or not. But I heard a lot of people that wear watches and it would drain the battery out of them. Hmm. And stuff, their energy. Yeah. So maybe something with the aliens with energy or something. I don't know. Could be. Interesting. Okay, we're ready for our next question, Rick. Yes, sir. I guess Betty noticed her clothes torn at the hem, zipper, and lining. Later, when she retrieved a pinkish powder on her dress. So, do you think Betty and Barney was abducted? Well, to be honest with you, brother, I'm starting to kind of lean towards that that this is another uh, basically big brother is behind it. It's uh see the the aliens to me are being demonized. Yeah. And um, you know, I like I said I'm familiar with it, but you know, you come up with a couple things I know how you are you're damn good you you know research and you came across some stuff that I hadn't heard about so um, now I'm kind of wondering if that was all planned staged to demonize demonize the grace and another thing you know I know everybody's got different clothes and such but now this is just my own personal experience when those three grays that were at the foot of my bed um, and I refer to them as my gray family because there was a short one which is I called the kid then there was a next one which I called the mom then there was a taller one which I called the dad and they were the typical they had the typical silver you know gray suit on they didn't have a black one but you know I don't know I'm just I'm now I'm kind of leaning a different way on this. <laughs> well, what kind of got me was like the black suits and the black hat. I mean, the black spacious outfit and the black hat. Mm hmm And stuff. But they might be, like I said, how they put it, they're like not like the grays. These are like humanoid versions. Oh, okay. That's how they look human, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, there is what we call aliens. There is, you know, some well, that you had do that, look. You had that, what was it, Ender Cole. What was it again? Andrew Cole. I've heard, I've heard of that. Name. Yeah, we, we talked about that. Oh, okay, okay. Everything. It's like, mm -hmm. he's kind of like, you know, like an alien, like with a human suit. Mm -hmm. And if you, 
you may have to edit this out, but if you really want to get things started, in my eyes, Jesus Christ is what, what we call an alien. He, yeah. Yeah. So, like I what, said, do, what do you think, guys? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, you're all good. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, shit. You made you brought some good ones on that one. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, maybe they were you no know, experiment on them. You know. Yeah. Well, see, I got theories like you know why people get abducted or whatever of my own. I think they might be harvesting you know like female eggs and male sperm. Mm -hmm. Only reason I say that and everything is because, you know, probably trying to like become like us. Yeah. Or something like and that. Something this kind of, you know, it's on the subject, but, um, and I don't believe I ever told you this. Let me, let me know if I did tell you. Oh, go ahead. Um, Angie came up pregnant, and this was after she had her, uh, she couldn't have kids. Yeah. Uh, what do they call it? Hysterectomy when they take all the, yeah. you know, she couldn't have kids. And um, then, this was another abduction story that I don't think I ever told you about. Well, long story short, um, she ended up, you know, getting abducted, and uh, I think it turned out it was a it was a girl. It was a little girl. There's more to it. I would have to, you know, gather my thoughts and think about it. So maybe that's something we can do down the road. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, what do you what do you think about that? You, you know. You know, I, to be honest, you know, I think there are humanoids, mm -hmm. aliens, because it's kind of arrogant not to think there's other races oh, out there like us. Very, very, very arrogant to think that, yeah. Because, you know, if there's like us on the planet, how he says there ain't another planet with the same atmosphere and everything, just like us. Mm -hmm. And if you don't care, not not right now, but... I would like to do, actually, I mean, we could do it today. I could go over it with you real quick. I'd like to do something on what we call Noah's Ark. So I'll leave it at that. So maybe be watching for that, guys. Okay. Yeah, we can probably work on that. I can get some more information about that and, and stuff. All right. Oh, gosh, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I already know your answer to this one. Yep. Do you believe in? UFOs. UFO Rick. An un unbelievable amount. Yes, I do. 100%. Oh, yeah, I believe in UFOs. A billion percent, actually. Right on, brother. Yep. <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead for that question there because I knew you know what the answer was. <laughs> okay, here's a good question. Was it aliens? That abducted Barney and Betty. Ah, man, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I kind of feel different about it when you when you read that one part, but um, I, I'll just say it's possible. I won't say. Yeah, I believe it was, but you got to think. You never know about the government. <clears throat> exactly. You never know about the government. How do you know they ain't grabbing people and making a test on them? Exactly. I'm saying, you know, you had, like I said, you had the Men in Black and stuff like that. Mm hmm But, hell, the Men in Black probably try to make these guys shut up about it, too. Yeah, I say it's another thing you would think. Uh, that incident, actually, if I hadn't told you about that or you already know about it, it happened in Las Vegas. It was about maybe six weeks ago or so. Yeah. Uh, I need to tell you about that. Um, and then at the end of the day, the men in black and the army, uh, then all of a sudden everybody was talking. Then all of a sudden the news people went back and the people won't answer the door. So, yeah. uh, threatened, you know, keep you know, mouth, you know, keep you know mouth that's shut. another thing we need to put on our list. We need to actually talk about Roswell. Oh, definitely, yeah. We need to actually talk about Roswell. I yeah. need to do that sooner or later. And re, re, I found out something about Roswell that made a made a lot of sense that I never, ever, ever, ever heard. I'll tell you when we get off. You know, when we get off the air here, I'll tell you. Okay. Our last question. 
This will be a good one for Rick because Rick's mixed, mixed on this one right now. Yeah. Do you believe this story is real or not? I did, and I ain't I ain't calling the people liars or anything like that, but I did, but now I'm kind of suspicious. I'll put it that way. Right. Rick, I gotta give you a hard time and we'll say <laughs> I'm gonna say I believe in this because you know Betty took this to her grave and yeah, Barney, you know they took yeah. it to their grave. You know they've been interviewed multiple times. Yeah, and everything. Well, I, I respect that, bro. I, I, so, I, so I'm, I'm gonna say I believe in this one. Like I said, that that's just my opinion too. Yeah. Well, I, re I respect it, and and everybody's opinion out there, you know, comments. Oh yeah. You know, I I respect it. Like I said, leave in the comments. Do you think it's fact? Or crap. Yeah, factor crap. I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, remember, keep your eyes to the sky. Definitely. Watch UFO Rick fly by. Nice. Go to the middle and asylum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch me get shock therapy. Because <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just trying to get everybody a smile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fucking video. Remember, keep exploring. And yeah, and remember, he's cray cray. <laughs> <laughs>